Hi everyone, my name is Abul and welcome back to CRTV. In this video, I want to talk to you about five mistakes that landlords make. If you are a landlord and you find yourself making these mistakes, then I would urge you to remedy them immediately. Number one, not protecting deposits. And I'm probably mainly talking to those of you who manage your own properties. And by now, there's no excuse. Deposit protections have been around since 2007. But for some reason, I still come across this more often than I should. And it's mainly when landlords are trying to evict their tenants and they realize they can't serve a section 21 without having a deposit protected. Number two, not making sure all your compliance certification is up to date. And this means no gaps. And I understand as a landlord, it can be hard to stay on top of all these dates, especially when they're all on bloody different dates. The gas safe is up annually. The EPC is due every 10 years and the EICR is due whenever the bloody engineer decides it is. And then on top of all of that, you have the landlord's license, which depends on the borough, but generally every five years. So if you're not using an agency who would probably have all of this flag up on their CRM, then you need to find your own system that will prompt you to get these things done. If it was me, then I would probably have them flag up on my Gmail calendar because I use it regularly and I will have it flag up a month before they are due. Number three, not doing inventories. I have spoken about these many times and many landlords don't see the importance, but it could be because it's not a legal requirement. For those of you who don't know what an inventory report is, it refers to a document that lists out everything in a property, all fixtures, fittings and furniture and the condition that they are in. Some landlords, especially those that are letting unfurnished properties, seem to think there's nothing to keep a note of. However, what they don't realize is if every wall gets scratched up and damaged and there's a hole in every door, that alone can be thousands of pounds worth of damage. Number four, and here's where it starts to get a little bit interesting. Becoming too friendly with the tenants. I'm not saying to be unkind or unfriendly, but there's no need to be too friendly. It's best to think of them as a colleague. There should be a professional expectation from both sides. On one side, you have the tenant who is expected to pay rent on time and look after the property. And on the other side, you have the landlord who is expected to provide the property and maintain in certain ways as well. I have some landlords whose properties we manage who somehow become best friends with their tenants. It might have been when they've gone to collect letters or something like that. And the next thing you know, they're getting a call in the middle of the night complaining about all sorts. I mean, what's the point of that? Especially when you're paying us to take that burden off you. And we have an out of hours system already in place. Also, when you become too friendly, it's hard to be firm. Like there's some things that you need to be firm about. And like I said, it's best to think of them as a colleague because you can be firm with a colleague. Number five, don't be cheap. What do I mean by this? Well, I don't mean buy the most expensive things for no reason, but for many things you will find having a cheap mindset will actually cost you more money. Let me give you an example. If you furnish your properties and you provide them with the crappiest mattresses, I just know you're going to get complaints, probably to the point where they ask you to change it. I have found it's probably better to go for the one in the middle, not the lowest quality and not the highest quality the medium quality. Also, when it comes to tradespeople, be wary of sending the new guys. For example, if you send a boiler engineer to go and figure out why the heating's not working and he fixes it, but in the process, he's changed like 10 parts. Whereas a more experienced and probably a more expensive engineer will probably figure it out on their first go. And here's a bonus mistake that many London landlords are making right now. That is not using the services of City Realtor. So if you would like a quote, do reach out to us. We are offering very appealing guaranteed rental offers at the moment. I'll leave the details in the description. As always, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you on the next one.